We are also spread across Boulder at watch parties and where people are gathering in the free speech zone. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn is live there right now, which is, for those of you familiar with the CU campus, he's at the business field, and Russell, it's packed with protesters. Yeah, and a very active crowd out here on what's known as Business Field, which is adjacent to the Coors Event Center here on the CU campus. Also one of the most respectful and peaceful protests and demonstrations we've seen in quite some time. Most of those out here have a message or cause that is important to them. We've seen and heard from a number of Marijuana advocates hoping that issue comes up in the debate tonight. Also, several military veterans groups are here, as well as gun control advocates, including a woman who lost her sister in the Sandy Hook shooting. My sister was incredibly brave. She um, was forced into a position nobody wants to be in, and she had to run towards uh, an AR-15. And I know she knew what she was doing, and I want to know what these Republican candidates are going to do, and if they're going to be as brave as my sister. There's been three presidential debates. Uh, veterans' issues have come up for a total of about 60 seconds. There's been two questions asked by the moderators. Um, so we're here to, to make sure that, that we, we're going to hold vet, hold presidential candidates accountable for not talking about veterans issues. So again, an active crowd out here on Business Field, which is adjacent to the Coors Event Center, where the debate is about to kick off inside. We're in the shadow of the Flatirons right now, this crowd beginning to thin out, but a good crowd, a respectful crowd out here today. We're live in Boulder. Russell Haythorn, back to you guys. Glad everyone is behaving and glad everyone is getting their message heard. All right, thanks a lot, Russell.